Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature a guitar from Fender. This is from Fender Japan. This is the Fender Aerodyne Special Stratocaster in California Blue. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you're new to this channel and we just want to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notification of future videos that follow and be part of Patreon to support this channel, I would appreciate it. I want to thank Ben from Sweetie for passing me this guitar. Now, guitar may look familiar because of the color. This is the same or almost the same as the uh, Aerodyne Special Telecaster that I reviewed a couple of videos back. Now, this is from the Aerodyne series that has just been relaunched, right? Uh, to give uh, these classic models like you know the the Telecasters and the Stratocaster a, a, a new take. So this is not like the Aerodyne of old. This is a, a new modern take. So this is a Stratocaster, the special Stratocaster from this Aerodyne series. All right, very nice. Uh, this is a California blue finish. Again, it features a little bit of a calf, just a bit of a calf. Now this is a base wood body. Really nice workmanship all around. Yeah, I don't expect anything less uh, from Fender Japan. Really, really nice workmanship. And then it features a maple neck with a fret radius of 12 inch. You have medium jumbo frets and a synthetic bone nut of 43 mm width. It also features locking tuners from Fender, right? String tree. Now, for the pickups, you have the uh, Aerodyne Special Stratocaster pickups for the neck middle and bridge and it features a Babitz tremolo bridge right? uh, five way selected switch one volume two tones really space each Jackson kind of <laughs> volume not really nice right now this is without a pick guide so it has that kind of a modern look to it you also have the back plate compartment for the electronics four screw neck joint this guitar has a modern C shaped neck really comfortable black pearl white dots right uh, very good contrast with the maple neck so you won't get lost I guess easy to play all right the neck is really easy to play 12 inch shred radius you know you can shred with this thing if you need to now for the pickups right I find that the pickups are very um, how should we call it um, transparent uh, a bit too transparent for my liking uh, I, I find it to be a, a, a little bit um, more glassy than I would like it. Yeah, too much high frequency response. So I, 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 uh, I'll prefer the pickups to be just a tad less. But again, you know, you can always dial down the treble, the tone, and you can get away with it. So uh, if I were to use this guitar live, I would probably dial down this uh, treble knob, you know, or my amp if I need to. Um, it has that weight for the neck pickup. You know, neck pickup actually responds really nicely. It just sounds great on the neck pickup. When you go to the bridge, that's where, uh, yeah, that's where it gets a bit chaotic because of the 60 cycle hum and because it's kind of brittle. So when you're doing, uh, say, um, an overdrive, with an overdrive, something with overdrive, you're gonna have the 60 cycle hum coupled with the brittleness of this and if you're playing too loud, you're gonna have like feedback all over the place and these are not really nice feedback. Right? But like I, I said many times, you know, what you do is you stay far away from the amp, <laughs> you know, stay far away from the speakers if you need to, or put on a headphone when, you, when you're recording it and you'll do fine. I like the tone of this guitar. Now this guitar will really sound good in a rock and roll setting or a blue setting if need be. Um, when it comes to rock and metal, yeah, maybe a bit too untamed, especially for these single call pickups. The tremolo system works fine. Now, 
my problem with this guitar is the string tree and the way uh, the string gets caught up. You know, I, I didn't want to do any setup with the, with the nut because this is going back to your shop. The string gets caught up in the nut, so you, you hear all this little ping every now and then. Um, yeah, but if you're procuring this guitar, you'll probably send this to your favorite luthier and have it all set up, and this guitar will play like a dream. You should probably get rid of the uh, string tree and replace it with a test, right? Yeah. Let me know what you think about this guitar and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. And the guitar is available in Sweeney, in Singapore, so there are a couple of branches in Singapore. Uh, if you're in Singapore, just uh, check them out. Right? See whether you like this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, press that bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of the Patreons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my Patreons for their wonderful love, their friendship, and their support. You know, um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Au revoir.